Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at text ad creation and how you can add additional text ads to your ad groups. You'll see on screen currently that we are working with the Airborne Signs ad account. The campaign we're looking at today is the North Shore Search Signage, which is currently pending. And then we're going to look at the General Signage ad group. The way to get to text ads is to click on the campaign, the ad group, and then you can click on ads. Now we'll just give you a simple explanation of how a text ad displays. And just a note, on the search network, only text ads may be shown. On the display network, text ads can be shown in addition to image ads, rich animation ads, and video ads. On the search network, you're just going to be using the style that you see on screen. And that is first the headline, and the headline is in blue, and it is the first line of your ad that the customer is most likely to notice. And so you want that to stand out. You also want to consider using keywords that the user may have searched for. So if you have keywords in your ad group that align to a particular ad, you're probably going to see a better quality score and therefore a better ranking. You have 25 characters that you can use in your headline. Do make the most of those. We tend to use caps at the beginning of the words for all the text headlines. In black, you will see the description. And these two lines of text can be used as individual sentences, or you can have them as a full sentence, so the two lines can run into one another. Each of these lines has up to 35 characters for you to enter text, for a total of 70 characters. And the space is limited, so you want to ensure you're getting the best possible description across to the user so that when they see your ads, they're more likely to click through to your particular page or product or service that you are selling. In the green, you will see the display URL and this line of your ad shows the address of your website that you're promoting. This particular line of the ad doesn't need to be an exact URL. So what I mean there is that you don't actually need to have a page that corresponds to what you've written there. That means that you can add additional information. So you could add for this example, and we're going to in a moment, airbornescience.co.nz forward slash the 0800 number for the company. Now there isn't actually a page for that 0800 number. The way that you get around this is to include a destination URL. And the destination URL is hidden behind the text ad, that's why you can't see it now, but you can enter it in when we create a new ad. And as I said, we'll see this in practice in just a moment. If you scroll down the page, you can see the ads that you currently have in use and any details that the ads have generated. In this example, the campaign has yet to run and you'll see a campaign pending status. If you hover over the little bubble, you can see some details. So it says this ad is not eligible to run on the search network. The campaign is not currently enabled. You can also see some campaign metrics. So how often the ad is served, the number of clicks it's received, the number of impressions, the click through rate, average CPC, the total cost and the average position. If you wish to add a new ad, you can click on new ad and click text ad. And here you'll be given the option to enter some details. And you'll see that we have the headline, we have the lines one and two of the description text, the display URL, and of course, most importantly, the destination URL. You'll see that this destination URL actually takes the user to the master sign page. Okay, 
So let's write a new ad. You'll see currently on screen a few things. The first is that you can get some help writing a great text ad and we encourage you to click on that link if you do need some help. You'll also see that there is some existing copy in the ad, which is kind of helpful when you want to send people to the same page that you have used in some of your other ads. So this sign writing ninja guys is the same ad we have in the top of our existing ads and so it's just pulled that information in. So feel free to go ahead and delete that information out and then you can add a new headline. And again, we'll put some caps in there. And then you can add some description text. And spelling, of course, is of paramount concern. You don't want to show ads that have incorrect spelling. So this is a pretty standard ad description that we're putting in. you'll see that we have put go on call us in the description. But they'd have to click on the ad to get the phone number. So in order to give them the details immediately, we are going to add the 0800 number in. Now the purpose of doing this is twofold. Firstly, it is going to encourage users to contact you. So you've got that symmetry between what you've asked, what you've said in the descriptions, and the fact that in the display URL they can see the phone number. But also it's going to hopefully reduce the number of clicks that you get. That might sound a little bit off, but you pay for clicks. So if you can get as much information across in the ad, and the user doesn't have to click on the ad, then you'll save money whilst still getting that conversion. So the person will see the ad, say, oh, I do want a new sign, and that's great that they've got a good range of solutions. I want to make that purchase immediately so they can call you straight away. We do want to send the user to the same destination URL. You can Bear in mind that you can only have one destination URL per ad group. So if you are going to send users to a particular page uh, that is different to the ads that you currently have, you're going to need to create a whole new ad group. Also be wary that you have the HTTP and HTTPS. HTTPS is a secure page and most pages on the internet are HTTP that you don't have the HTTP in twice. So if you grab a link off a browser and dump it into the destination URL, you'll see that it actually keeps the HTTP. So just check all the lines, the headline, description lines, the display URL, and the destination URL before you click save to ensure that everything in there is correct. And you can see the side ad preview and the top ad preview. You can click save ad and you now have a new ad. You'll see this one has an 0800 number. Of course, you may wish to add 0800 numbers to the other ads that you have, so you can click on the little pencil, and this tells you that if you have metrics that have already generated for this ad and you change the ad, then you will lose those metrics. We don't have any metrics, we're not too worried about that, so we can go ahead and enter the new display URL and that is how you create a new text ad remember that on the campus page there are a few more tips and tricks on the best way to create an ad if you have any further questions please go to the webwonks website and use our contact page Alternatively, you can give us a call 0800 932 9665. Thanks for watching.